Hello everyone, my name is Tok Lahana. Today I'll be uh, talking about the virtual core flow cytometry or the VCFC. Let's start with a little background. The first flow cytome cytometry device was introduced by Wallace H. Coulter in 1953, which was based on the Coulter principle. In 1965, the first cell sorter flow cytomet uh, cytometer was developed by Mac Floyler, which leads us to what is, uh, what is a flow cytometer? It's a laser-based device that can count, sort, recognize shapes of small molecules. It is used in a wide variety of fields like pathology, marine biology, and more. So how does it work? Uh, we uh, have the sample placed in the machine, then the machine uh, takes the sample in and mix it with sheath fluid. Uh, and then the sheath fluid will uh, be guided through uh, a small channel, which forms uh, the particles in a line. Then the particles will pass through uh, a laser beam, uh, which will be detected by uh, a laser detector. And uh, it's pretty much it's uh, detects the laser scattered, uh, called the forward laser scattered, and it uh, analyzes uh, how much or the uh, amount of the forward scattered laser uh, for each cell. Uh, the, data then, the data then transfers to the computer and analyze, uh, analyzing the shape by uh, how much uh, the laser passes through. So the article presents uh, of, um, an essential problem in the traditional uh, flow cytometer, uh, which is the sheath fluid. Uh, the sheath fluid it causes so many complication in the in the device itself. Uh, moreover, it's expensive and it cannot be reused or filtered. So how do we fix this? So the article proposed a solution which is by adding three photo detector to sense the position of the particle in the sample. So um, uh, initially, the uh, traditional flow cytometer have the sheath fluid and uh, its purpose is just to guide the sample in uh, one row through the laser beam. So it will give a chance to the laser beam to uh, de uh, detect and analyze each specific um, particle. Um, so if we eliminate that, the particles will be kind of not forming in a line. So which allow, which on the other side in the virtual, uh, in the VCFC, the three detectors will pretty much create a virtual core uh, and it will detect the particle uh, wherever it is. And it, this will eliminate the, the function of needing a sheath fluid. Um, so trials were made and uh, they were uh, they used so many different samples. One of the samples was the CD4 and CD8 uh, expression. The graphs shows the results using um, the traditional uh, flow uh, cytometer, which is in graph A or on the left. Then it shows the uh, the results of um, um, the CD4 and CD8 expression using a VCFC without the gates, which uh, primarily is uh, determines where the virtual uh, core is and eliminates it. So you can have just the pure results. Uh, so we have two graphs uh, in B is uh, without uh, the gate and um, which uh, and in C, uh, the gate is active, which eliminates the virtual core uh, or pretty much subtracting the virtual core from the from the graph, which gives you the pure results. In comparing A and C, uh, which A is using the sheath fluid and C is using the VCFC, we can pretty much see uh, almost the same result. Uh, and according to the article, there is only less than 2% um, difference 
in numbers which um, or the amount um, the amount and uh, which shows um, that um, which shows the uh, the numbers are so close and it's actually significant and um, there are no significant difference between the results therefore after proving that the v that vcfc uh, works and is significant uh, it actually can serve a big deal in the rest of the field for example in uh, agriculture, it can be used to analyze uh, soil structure, um, and moreover, it can be used in virology. Uh, it can discover new viruses um, uh, characteristics, uh, which will help in curing. So let's say there is a new uh, virus came out and uh, maybe it's going through the blood. We can take a sample of the blood and uh, analyze and analyze the structure and the virus will be one of those particles in in the blood so from there uh, you can discover the characteristic if it's um, what kind of uh, virus is it is it a naked virus is it a coated virus uh, what is the shape of the coat uh, what kind of virus is it and beside other tests you can find easily can find the cure uh, moreover uh, we can add on um, the VCFC, we can add more uh, complexity, uh, which can be uh, by adding um, more or addition scattering detectors for high accuracy uh, on uh, not just um, the particle counts, uh, but on the particle shape as well. Because the more data we have, uh, the more accurate results we get. So this is, gives a more flexibility on that end and still it eliminates uh, the need for sheath fluid at the end i would like to thank you all for watching and i hope you have enjoyed it thank you so much and have a great day